What the... Uh, what's going on? What on earth could have happened? Bingo. I'm flattered that you know me, but how does it feel to be dead? I. Are you making fun of me? <laughs> Not at all. I beg your pardon if I've offended you. You are strongly fated today. You see, you are destined to die. But if you have the will to somehow reverse that fate by yourself, I can lend you some measure of strength. How about it? Will you deal with me? Sure. You're on. Mm-hmm. Well, I do like a man who jumps at an opportunity. But I want you to understand something, Ike. The destiny that awaits you is very potent. What I mean is, just because you manage to avoid death once, doesn't mean you've escaped the threat. Unless you tear out its very roots, destiny can't be cheated. Got it. The hard part starts after you come back to life. Mm hmm You're right. But that's also where your own strengths come into play. Are you ready? I'm going to give you some of my time-shifting powers, Ike. I'm going to give you this digipad. Please, use it well. But it's not as though you can use it anywhere or any time you want. This will respond to phenomena that have some relevance to you as its user. As soon as it begins to respond, it's usable, and you can select the digipad by pushing on the square button. After that, you specify the destination time and enter the X button to be sent to that time, alright? You can't solve the real problem by just using it when you're about to die. It's better to make use of it to remove the underlying cause of your death. Oh, and one more thing. Something else? Yes, and it's very important. If the response begins in the time space you've traveled out to, please come back immediately. Other people and objects can be just left in another time and stay intact. But that isn't true for you, as the user. If it starts to respond, you need to come back quickly, or you won't be able to get back at all. Just be careful of that. It looks like time is something even more serious than I know. Good luck. Sir, please wake up. Are you all right? Do you feel sick or something? <laughs> Sir? Oh, sorry. I, I fell asleep. <laughs> Dana. <laughs> Dana, that will do. Okay.
I, uh, I'll, I'll just leave what I owe for the coffee here. Hmm, the stone's not here. But not in this time, anyway. Well, maybe I'll see it later. Hmm, two o'clock. Fortune's told. Well, let's hear it then. I know. I've been here a bunch of times, right? No, but I suppose you could have been. Perhaps in another place I am as yet unaware of. Sitting here as I am, I will tell your fortune at no cost. Yeah, about that. Can I ask you something? Yeah. I'm going to find a red stone soon. It's probably the Philosopher's Stone. That thing! If I use it, then Homunculus... No! Don't utter the name of that cursed abomination! Who knows if he might be listening? All right. I'll make up my own mind about what to do with the stone. How's that sound? Then it is in your hands. I will lay my hopes on the future of your design. Hey, that's me! Sorry, kid. Even I can do that. Wait. N no. Don't. Wonder if it's different. And what the letter says, I mean. The red stone is the Philosopher's Stone, and the source of Homunculus's life. It's also the main element in the elixir of life, which is supposed to cure all diseases. So this... Is Dana? I mean, that waitress who was just here. 
around? Oh, oh, so you found out her name already, did you, sir? You'd better get in line. <laughs> just kidding. Dana's in the back. She was just about to go catch up with a customer who left something here. That's me. I, I forgot them here. Oh, I see. Dana? I'm just leaving now. Oh, it's you. You forgot these. The slider and the pretty stone, they're yours, right? Right. Oh, good. I was just about to go chasing after you. Thanks for coming back. Are you gonna help my grandpa? same time as before, I have to fix this another way. I guess the only thing to do is to use the stone, the Philosopher's Stone. a nerve, my girl. Really? What with that one being punished yesterday, too? What is it that you don't understand? What's so difficult about being more quiet-like? Dressing above one station is an offense, you know. Do you want to be punished? Like that woman? What's wrong with wearing what one likes? And this dress is one of my quieter ones. Really good ladies. You'd like to wear this kind of a dress yourself, wouldn't you? Well, I never! A little neighborly advice and she sasses me. All right, we'll have the law down here. That's right. You tell her. Oh, that's not very pleasant, is it? Come on, let's just let this pass, all right? Well then, in exchange for us not telling the law, you'll make us dresses for free. Right, that is. You're a seamstress, you are. That's right, you tell her. You'll make me one too. Oh dear. I don't see how I could do a thing like that. We're doing this just to be obliging. Whoa! What are you? Who are you? What's this? It's dark already. Get yourselves home, everyone. Get you? Oh! This man just suddenly... I see now. It was you. This little girl called for help. Wicked little sly boot. Oh, the hussy. Sir, you must arrest her at once. What? Why should you think a thing like that? What's this now? What are you doing here? I have an idea. I'll just turn this thing on and... Lord Almighty! Don't do 
going? Listen carefully. Stop bothering this woman and go home. If you do as I say, no harm will come to you. This time. If you don't, I'll use this machine on you. Ooh. I can trap any of you inside this box in an instant. Sweet savior! And you will keep what happened here a secret. Understand? Yes. Everyone, give your word. I promise. Forgive us, please. Please. Mm. Uh, will that be uh, all? If it is, uh, you could perhaps go away now. And everyone, go home too. Godspeed. Nobody you need to be afraid of. But enough about that. Oh. What? What is it? Well. Uh... Look, why don't you stop by my house? It's right over there. We can stay out here, and you can tell me everything inside. Let me introduce myself. I'm Margaret. I'm Ike. Ike Kush. Well, Ike, shall we? The stone. Oh, I have it. So, 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 it was too difficult after all to challenge fate. Hey, there's something I want to ask you. Yes, what might that be? I need to show you this. Oh, what a bother. I wanted to wait till later to make my appearance. It's this, this stone. It wants to go home! I did it!
Mother, I'm home. How are you feeling? I am all right today. There hasn't been a great deal of pain. Is someone with you? A guest? Wow! Would you look at those strange clothes? We met in the square. Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah. I might. My, your friend's voice is remarkably like your father's. Hmm, do you think so? Where is father anyway? Closed up down there again. He won't come up, even with mother like this. It's all right, Hugo. I love your father better for doing what he believes in. Is that how it is? Hugo, you'll carry on after your father someday, won't you? I... I, I don't know yet. Well, maybe I'll just go take a peek. I wonder if father had his dinner yet. Will you excuse me for a second? I'm home, Father. How are things? I guess that means the medicine for Mother isn't ready yet. Margaret, will you give this to your father? Huh? What? Of... Of course. Father, here. Sorry to disturb you, Dr. Wagner. The stone. It's the Philosopher's Stone? What did you just say? If you take a chip from that stone and brew it, you can make the elixir, the cure-all. Your wife will be cured for sure. Ah, this, this is the... It's the real thing. Brew it as soon as possible, please. I... I thank you. Please, it's okay. I'll be going now. This is, this is the end. I've won. Cheated fate. <laughs> this is the best day ever. You're all right again. I can't stay in bed anymore, can I? Oh, <laughs> 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 